Got some pretty good waves and high tide right now. We're at my buddy's place who lives right alongside this beach. And uh, this is a cool little spot right here. So if we look back this way, you've got a lot of private villas for rent. That could be by the night, by the week, by the month. So if you wanted to have your own little beach paradise to live on for a while, this would be a good spot right here. It's not terribly expensive, considering that you're this close to the water. Now you do have some restaurant bars and whatnot down this way, but that's actually not a bad thing. You sit out there, buy a beer, and head back into your villa for the second beer or whatever. So we're headed for a rainy beach day today which should be fun. And uh, we opted to get a grab car instead of ride in the rain. So this is a bitchin' U-turn right here. <laughs> it just cracks me up how good that these people are at it. Oh wow, there's some white people good at it. Yeah, this road's a mess. And then we got over here on this side, all these people wanting to come into this road. And it has one of those dividers, which makes it even more interesting because we got a big old cluster F right here going all the way down that street. Isn't this great? <laughs> Check this out. There's some ducks up there. I really haven't seen ducks since I left America unless they're cooked. Look at that. Right there on the side of the road. Hey, buddies. Hey, hey. Oh, they're eating the offerings. Hey buddies. So this is the long walk down to the private villa to visit our friend Mr. And look how far we went already. Well, we're still on the beach and the uh, sun is setting almost out of sight. This is such a great beach. Caught up with an old friend and talking about some business ideas. It's been a good day out. And not over yet. And there she goes. No more sun. Back down the narrow walkway. Only now it's dark. Because we were there talking for about three hours. That's what it looks like behind us. Back out to the main road we go. Find ourselves a nice little restaurant. Grab a bintang and a pizza. Here in Indonesia, I don't know if you can see it, but they like to put the Jeep symbol on a lot of different cars. Because they love... Jeep. So even if it's not a Jeep, they'll probably have Jeep written on it somewhere if it's anything like a Jeep, especially on the Toyota Land Cruisers. Anyway, this is um, some interesting stuff along the road here. Restaurants, temples, kind of all mixed together. Quickie Marts, um, even smaller little restaurants like that one, dark alleyways. Normally when we come by here, we're riding, going by so fast, but now that we're walking to our place of dinner tonight, you can kind of get a better, more close-up look. Here's Warung Katut, which is a place we've never tried before, but I think we're going to skip it for tonight, even though it doesn't look half bad. We are open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Right on. And then you see we've got a clothing store right next door. We've got a little restaurant bar right across the street. Over there we've got a tailor and a spa, I guess, massage or pedicures or something, I don't know. Oh yeah, Balinese massage, warm stone massage, haircut, pedicure, manicure, facial, all that good stuff. And here's another temple-like entrance and of course, be careful not to step on the offerings are all over the place. In fact, here comes some more. Look at all that. And another mini mart. There's a lot of mini marts here. So oftentimes when you're walking, you get hungry and there's all kinds of these food stands. It's a big business here. And these just happen to be fried snacks, which is going to be fried tofu, I think, is all this offers. There's some cooking right down in there. 
but um, the girls love this stuff. It's really cheap. It's about 5,000 rupiah for a bag full of this stuff. I don't particularly like tofu. I'm not a big soy person, but um, anyway, there's all kinds of other uh, options and different food carts. And of course, this is in front of Indomart, which is another mini mart. Right across the street from another mini mart, Alpha Mart. All right, Double O, dude, this one's for you, man. I just were walking down the street looking for some dinner, and I found this old girl. Looks to be in halfway decent shape. But yeah, man, this is, uh, I think we're in Semenyak, uh, in the Semenyak Bali, Indonesia. And there's a spa nearby, uh, which, you know, to tell you the truth, I don't know if it has happy endings or not. I have to find the answer. Well, not because I'm gonna go to a spa, but you know, just curiosity. Must be a bar and grill of sorts. Probably a little bit on the pricey side, so I think we'll skip it, but it does look good. Kind of sounds happening in there. Oh yeah. It's happening in there. Strawberry fields something. Oh, careful, don't fall in the open ditch. Restaurant bar of wine. That's kind of cool. 30 W? 30 Wow? I don't know. Wine, best price in town. And here we have another, Deadly. You could step in there and fall who knows how far into some really dirty water way down in there. Okay, so this road sign up here, uh, Den Pesar is where we live. Little emergency center there next to a dentist and a ambulance. In case you have a little accident here or something goes wrong. There you go, medical service. My Warung Batu Belig. Very nice setting in there. Wouldn't mind drinking a bintang in there, but we are determined to find this pizza place that the girls have been wanting to try now for a long, long time. And we've been walking for a good half an hour already. There's another death trap. And more offerings. And this here is a pariwisata, meaning a tour. Or tour van, or tour bus, or whatever. And again. All right, so we finally made it to Babaraka, which is a pizza place that we've been meaning to try now forever. And it's hopping tonight, so this must be a good place. Let's see how it goes. Got a nice little candlelit table here. 